Hey everyone, I'm Dustin. I have nearly 20 years of experience in the bike and e-bike industry. And today, I'm gonna tell you three really important things you need to know about e-bikes with a throttle. Stick around. Okay, so let's get into it. Three really important things you need to know about e-bikes with a throttle. First thing you need to know is there's two options for throttles on e-bikes. One, if you come in a little closer, is you have what's called a thumb throttle. So in the, in the case of a thumb throttle, it's just basically exactly what it says. You would push this lever here, and as much or as little as you push, as, as much as little or as it engages the um, throttle of the e-bike. Now, number one, the, still the most important one, number one, is you're either gonna have a thumb throttle or a twist throttle. Now, this is actually a gearing twister for, for the derailleur, but most other brands, if they have a twist throttle, it's gonna be on the right hand. And if you have a thumb throttle, most times it's gonna be on the left hand, um, but I've seen it on the right hand as well. So usually the twist throttle is here and it's just like that. You would just twist and that would engage. And again, same thing, the more you twist, the more it engages the motor. So those are two options. So that's number one most important thing to know. If you're looking for a throttle, you know, figure out what is most important for you and which one you like better. To be honest, they both have some positives and some negatives. At 630, we only use thumb throttles. I do prefer it a little bit because uh, on a lot of our bikes, we actually have gears and derailleurs. So we couldn't double up or we wouldn't want to double up with the derailleur shifter and a shifter here. Um, we could put it on the left hand, but yeah. The reason I like the thumb throttle is it's, you know, it's right here and it's away from your hand. So you can't as easily accidentally pull the throttle here and shoot off if you didn't want to. Okay, second most important thing is when you have an e-bike with a throttle, let me go ahead and flip our battery on here. You're gonna have some sort of display here. And if this is in level one or higher, the throttle is going to be engaged. Now, reason I bring this up is I see people get into precarious situations where they accidentally hit the throttle or they accidentally twist right here and the bike takes off, right? So it's important to know, you gotta keep that in zero if you do turn the motor on or you gotta turn this completely off to disengage the throttle. All right, so we'll go ahead and turn that back on right now. Okay, and the last most important thing I think you need to know about a throttle is brakes. So the brakes are going to cut the motor no matter what. If you accidentally pull the throttle, engage those brakes and that will cut the motor regardless. So it's important to have an e-bike that has that function. I think most e-bikes would have that function. Um, but you know, as you're riding an e-bike, if you have a throttle, I've seen the, like I said, the accidental pressing or the accidental twisting, hit the brake. If you can't remember anything else to like disengage your hands completely, hit the brake. One other bonus thing I'll tell you about e-bikes with throttles, um, they're a lot of fun, but they're actually a huge benefit for a couple reasons. But number one with a throttle, it really helps the starting and, and the starting because especially if you know you stop your bike in a higher gear or it's just harder in general for you to get the bike going because for whatever reason, your legs don't have the strength, the throttle offers a nice option to just get the bike up and moving a little bit so you can you know then take over. And that's why, again, I like the thumb throttle because I just feel like personally, I have really good control over how much power output I give right here. And again, then it's separated from any of the other uh, basic controls of the e-bike or of the regular bike, like the, the, the shifter for the derailleur here. So three important things to know about e-bikes with a throttle. Number one, you can have two options, thumb throttle or the twist throttle here. Number two, if that's engaged in level one or above, your throttle is engaged and ready to go. And number three, pull the brakes, that'll cut the motor. And the bonus one, throttle is great for getting going from a dead stop. So 
Hope that helps. If you have any other questions at all about e-bikes with a throttle, comment below or email us, the team at 630.com, or you can call us 310-982-2877. And if you're in the market for an e-bike, go to our website, 630.com, take our proprietary body fit quiz, answer a few questions about your body and your life. We'll recommend the perfect e-bike for you. And we have a 30 day test ride your e-bike policy. If you don't love it in 30 days, send it back. No questions asked, no money out of your pocket. And lastly, be a part of our community. Facebook Peddlers Group is a great place to go in advance of purchasing. Ask existing riders questions about the e-bikes they already have, get their opinion, and download our app, see how people are logging rides, how far they're going. Then once you have your e-bike, track your rides on the app and make new friends in the Peddlers Group. It's tons of fun. So thanks for sticking around and don't forget, it's your journey, your experience, enjoy the ride.